Hey guys, Vlad here with the EVT Astro. And as you can see today, it's kind of a sunny day. Haven't done any solar observing lately. And you know, if you've been t paying attention to solar news, there has been a lot of solar activity. So I figured I'd see if there's any sunspots on the sun. Guess what? There are. For those of you that might not be familiar, I run a little astro blog called avt-astro.com and of course to the CD channel. So if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. So anyway, on to the topic of this video. So today, um, I've done a video before on Solar Observer and I do enjoy it uh, from time to time. But I got a new solar toy, so I figured I'd do a quick video on it. So this is the um, Batter uh, Herschel Wedge. And essentially what this does is it'll actually, um, it, it, it's essentially a diagonal, right? But it's a special diagonal designed for observing the sun. So do not observe the sun without some kind of proper filtration. This is one method to do it. Um, basically what this thing does is it'll reflect some of the uh, light uh, into like either an eyepiece or in this case we're going to be using the camera but most of the light actually gets uh, ejected out the back here this one kind of uses fancy tiles to kind of like you know really, like really cool the light down and that type of deal so anyhow let's take a look and see what we can see Alrighty, guys so uh, there's a new house being built by my house out there so uh, they're running like a generator or something. I don't know, it's pretty loud. So I apologize for that. I'm not sure how much of that noise is going to come through. But anyhow, let's take a little bit of a closer look at the setup, right? So this is a four inch APO that we're using. The mount is non-tracking. And uh, you know, it'd be better if I did have a tracking mount out right now, but I don't got too much time. What's cool about the Herschel Wedge, right? So. You essentially get, you know, not only the ability to observe the sun, you also get a solar finder, right? Because you can't really use a normal finder scope. So, like, see how when I move the um, the scope around, right? This is actually like a projection of the sun, and this is totally cool. So I could, even though you know, like the whole, you know, most of the solar energy is getting, you know, shot out the back here. This is totally cool. So um, I've, you know. I haven't used this terribly much, uh, like on a really hot summer day, but you know, right now, kind of early spring in the northwest here, as you can see, the sun you know, is pretty much fully out. Um, you know, this is totally cool. It's not hot, and I don't think it's ever supposed to get hot. But anyhow, so right now, the sun should be more or less centered. So let's see, I've got sharp cap open here, or at least I did. Let's uh, lay that. What do we have going on here? all right let me actually zoom in a little bit you know sorry there's a little bit of reflection going on of course and so that's actually the sun floating through the image here right um i'm going to cut in the actual video that i'm going to start recording right now right so i'm pressing uh start capture so we're capturing um and actually i'm just gonna do one limit just real quick da, 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 da. okay so now we're we should be recording everything oh oh look at that and the cloud came in cover the sun because it got real dim real real quick but anyhow um so i'm gonna start moving the scope around right okay and so this is what's actually being recorded right now so you could see that you see that right you know kind of going on top of us and that's actually clouds rolling through light clouds which is fine oh so that's the first little sunspot there and check this out there's a nice sunspot group kind of oh, moved it a little too far kind of hiding hanging out right on the sun so right now there's some clouds you know rolling through but this is like a live view right and i think i've got this focus fairly well I mean, check out that massive sunspot group. I mean, that's pretty amazing, I think. Yeah. All right. So there's some clouds rolling through. I think I'm going to let these roll through. And I'm going to restart the video. Um, and then uh, I'll try to take some snapshots too. So, you know, maybe I'll do, you know, a bit of processing on this. You know, I'm not trying to create anything too crazy beautiful um, but anyway so the Herschel wedge uh while the clouds are kind of rolling through it does uh, have a filter that's that batter makes uh, I'll, I'll post in the name of it i kind of forget off the off the top of my head it's got kind of a weirder name um so that's why the sun it actually kind of gets a greener tint because this is in the white light right so normally i mean the sun should appear pretty white or yellowish you know 
uh, without that filter. That's why it's greener. Um, but man, like the, you know, just kind of a quick, you know, initial impression of this thing. Uh, Cause I, I do have, you know, regular white light solar filters. With this solar wedge, man, I mean, um, I'm not sure how well this is gonna show through in the video, you know, how sharp the sunspots are gonna look. But when you're looking with an eyepiece, I mean, it is amazingly sharp. I mean, the sunspots are just like spot on, just, you know, totally crazy, you know, good looking. So anyhow, yeah, so that's the setup rolling through. There's the little clouds we're kind of looking through right now. Alrighty guys, so I kind of refocused a little bit here. Um, I did a couple of screen grabs. And now um, I'm going to restart the video capture. You know, through the... By the way, the camera that we're using is the uh, Saibon SV-205. I've done a review on that one, so if you're curious, check it out. Um, in a way, I kind of wish I was using a high resolution camera because I uh, would be able to get more of the sun in at the same time. But anyway, so this is recording, right? And just in case, you know, just in case you, you live like in Arizona, Florida, or somewhere where the sun always shines, you're like, Vlad, why are you recording this video when there's clouds in the sky? Well, man, like, you know, out here in the Northwest, when you get even, like, some resemblance of clear skies, you got to take advantage of it when you're in this hobby, man. So that's why, okay? <laughs> it's cloudy a lot here, and it rains a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty dim. And I, I kind of looked at the, in the direction where the clouds are coming. I don't think it's going to clear out too terribly much. So anyway, uh, let me put the camera on the tripod, right? And uh, I guess I might as well make this like a mini review of the uh, Herschel wedge, right? Alrighty guys, so the wedge, it comes in this little case, right? So I do like that it comes in its own little hard case. There's two versions available of this. Then there's a version that comes, I think, with just two filters that are actually pre-installed in this. Um, so this, the filter that I was talking about that uh, basically is in there is called the Solar Continuum Filter, I think is what it's called. So basically this guy right here, that's what gives it that uh, um, greenish tint, right? Now the set that I got, this one actually comes with uh, like three natural density filters. So like if you're using a bigger scope, you could dim down the sun too. So it comes with those. You can buy a set, I think that doesn't come with these three filters. That's a little bit cheaper. Um, and then yeah, this is just an extra eye piece that I have in there. But yeah, so it comes with all this stuff. Um, again, just you know, kind of quick, you know, initial impressions. I've probably used this thing, I don't know, like four, maybe five times. Um, I mean, the image that you get from it is pretty darn amazing, I will say. I mean, the sharpness is definitely way better than with a uh, white light solar, you know, like a glass solar filter or like a film solar filter. Compared to H-Alpha, you know, and I think if you're watching this video, you know what H-Alpha is. If you don't, you know, look it up. Uh, the views, you know, of sunspots, so like when there's big sunspot groups like this, I mean, they are amazing. Now, if they're, you know, like, like a few years ago when there was no sunspots, then, you know, this thing kind of be useless, you know, more or less. Uh, so, I mean, you're really seeing sunspots. With H-Alpha, you know, you can kind of see, like, all the flares and stuff coming off the sun. And then all the, you know, like, uh, like hardcore sun guys are laughing at me right now because, they you know, I don't know. Or prominent, okay, prominence is the word that I was trying to <laughs> think of. Uh, I was going to say all the solar guys are laughing at me right now because I don't even know the terminology. I'm um, just kind of slipped my mind. But anyway, yeah, it, so uh, H-Alpha, it's really cool. I mean, really, I think you really kind of like need both. And if you're, a you know, like serious solar guy, you probably, you know, would have both. But if you're a serious solar guy and you've never tried, you know, especially like this, like kind of like more of a premium watch, I mean, man, like, I mean, the image is really good. So anyhow, um, I'll post in probably a picture of like the snapshot that I took of the sun right now. Um, overall, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Uh, so if you know, if you want to try out solar observing, not the cheapest, you know, option. You know, maybe start out with the glass, glass so, uh, filter. The sun is getting really active right now, so I think you know it is worth your while to at least get a glass solar filter for your scope. Um, or you know, if you already have a glass solar filter, you really enjoy looking at sunspots, maybe taking images of them. I mean, this thing, you know, I think they're. 
they're pretty expensive. I think they're like 500 bucks. You know, it's kind of a big investment. Uh, but man, I mean, the images are, you know, super awesome with this. So anyhow, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them in the thumb below. If you're not subscribed, again, please do consider subscribing. See you guys in the next video. Bye.